Jeff Blankman joined here tonight by Coon Rapids Baird head baseball coach John Waddle after a hard-fought 5-3 to three victory tonight against Glidden Ralston. Uh, coach, a three-run second inning, kind of the difference uh, really in the ball game here tonight. Uh, otherwise, offense had some chances, just couldn't seem to get those clutch hits when they needed, which I know you've talked about kind of being the story of the season maybe for you guys so far. But overall, how did you feel like the game went tonight? Well, I think, first of all, you got to give credit in the other dugout. Uh, from an intensity and an urgency standpoint, Glidden Ralston outperformed us tonight and probably deserved to win the baseball game from that standpoint. We didn't have a sense of urgency, we didn't have a sense of intensity, and therefore that's uh, why they were in the baseball game. Talk about uh, the pitching tonight. Christian Cook uh, came in. Uh, you, you talked earlier tonight about he was the one guy really that, that seemed to, to really be focused for you tonight. What did you see from him tonight, that, and what made you decide to go to him late in the game in kind of a tight situation? Well, a couple things. Uh, reasons that we went to him late in the game is he needed to work, first of all, and then second of all, we wanted to see what he would do in a pressure situation. You're trying to get ready for district tournament time where it's going to take, you know, three, four, five pitchers. And so we put him in, you know, kind of a tight situation. And I thought he performed very, very well. I think at one time he struck out five batters in a row or something like that. So he's the one guy that I saw some intensity from tonight. And it's really a good thing for our team that he had it tonight and pounded the strike zone. Offensively struggled a little bit. Sam Brant had the curveball going tonight. Uh, is that something you guys have struggled with this year, or was it just uh, the way Sam was throwing it tonight uh, that gave you guys some problems? No, we really haven't had trouble with it. I, I think it's called lack of focus in the batter's box. Uh, I think you have to go up there with the idea that I'm going to pick on a pitch early in the count, and we're sitting there taking called strike threes, uh, and that's just something that you can't do. We have to start to limit of our limit our strikeouts because we're striking out too much. Coach, with the way you guys have been playing here lately, you seem to have been on a little bit of a run. Surprised uh, in a way that that lack of focus you've kind of talked, especially with this being Glidden, one of your biggest rivals? I was kind of blindsided, to be honest with you, with our players, and I think they understand that that's where I'm coming from right now. They know that as a coaching staff, we're not real happy with, uh, like I said, our performance. Take nothing away from Glidden Ralston because they played an excellent baseball game. But uh, each night we have to come out because I think we can be a good team but we're not good enough to get by with just talent alone. We have to do the basics. We have to be intense in the batter's box. Our pitchers need to become more of two- and three-pitch pitchers. Right now we're getting locked into becoming one-pitch pitchers, and we just don't have that secondary pitch to go to right now, and it's hurting us. What did you feel like was the difference that uh, when you didn't maybe play your best game, you were still able to edge out the victory tonight? Well, you know, you always say that, you know, a bad win's better than a good loss. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I will take that away from it. And, you know, maybe it's something that you can learn from, uh, especially come district tournament time. You do not get second chances. And they were one swing from taking the lead there when it was, I believe, it was five to two and they loaded the bases. Mm -hmm. They had a chance, you know, if a kid catches one and hits a grand slam, all of a sudden we're down six to five. And with the weather situation the way it is, that ball game could have been done in three outs after that. How much did the weather concern you tonight, especially when the rain started to kind of move in? Well, it doesn't concern you if you have a 10-run lead. <laughs> it concerns you when you have a one- or two-run lead and the other team's putting guys on base like Glidden was, and then all of a sudden they do get ahead and you're forced to score within uh, three outs. That puts a lot of pressure on your squad. And so, once again, I think you just have to go back to a sense of urgency and understanding what the situation was tonight and what we needed to get accomplished, and we simply didn't do it. Coach, you guys did seem to turn the corner maybe about a week or so ago. What do you think kind of started to turn things around? You guys had a nice week last week, I think 5-2 and two, if I remember right or something like that. Well, I think part of it is repetition. Uh, you know, we didn't get a lot of swings early in the season. Our kids are involved with a lot of other activities throughout the year. And so sometimes we do get off to a slow start in the batter's box offensively. So we don't panic as a coaching staff uh, for those first 25, 30 at-bats. That's why we play a lot of games. Plus, we were seeing quality pitching. When you see the likes of Martinsdale, St. Mary's, and some of those, and those guys are rushing it up there at 80-plus miles an hour, you're going to struggle if you don't have a lot of repetitions. So I think it was key for us as a coaching staff to be patient. However, we're over the midway point now. Patience can't be one of those situations anymore. We have to produce, and I think the kids hopefully will realize that come Monday. Well, Coach, as always, appreciate your time tonight. Congratulations on the win. Thank you very much.